Hatred is the frailty of the weak. Fashion banana. That line again. And that is everything that Slumber Nana Monkey taught me. Think about this, everyone. The emotions we experience, be it joy, sadness, or an epiphany, every one of them is produced from a subtle shift in chemical composition within this vessel of ours. With some manipulation, we should be able to easily create or erase emotions. That means triggering a sudden change in your own temperament isn't out of the question. So here's my conclusion. Even if a behavior is generated after thorough deliberation, it is no more sophisticated than the simple act of jumping. One load of horse manure. I'm checking somewhere else. Where are you going? It wasn't easy to get in, so don't do anything that'll draw unnecessary attention. At least, stop pointing your gun at people. I appreciate it, nameless gal. You have uh, quite the authority around here, huh? Has the uh, Astral Express begun to take on monkeys? I wasn't expecting that either. But the assist and Anna's insist, I'm a great talent. They even gave me a membership card with a high level of clearance. Wait, talented for a club that advocates the abandonment of all thought? Ain't wrong, am I? You were so darn mesmerized by their speech back there. Well, I was just listening to what they had to say. It's not like they managed to convince me anyway. Plus, if they don't talk in rhyme, it's probably just nonsense. <sighs> so, what brought you here? You don't look like you're a fan of these monkeys. Why not? Galaxy Rangers are forking monkey fans. <laughs> we go bananas at the mere sight of them. So... He's on the hunt for some kind of fugitive? That explains why he's dressed like a sheriff. Uh, no, no. I guess you could say he is a fugitive. <laughs> what? Yada, yada. Tell her my last story, then. I'm gonna go check the place out. Not a single thing around here makes sense. This is downright bananas. Hey, nameless gal. Can we have a little talk over yonder? Uh, just me? Why can't we just talk here? Um, it's okay. You guys go ahead. I'll wait for you over there, March. What are you up to? I only just convinced her everything's fine, you know. Awful charming with someone you just met, ain't you, friendo? All right, great nameless one. Drop the act already. What's the deal on your side? When did you guys start laying eyes on Dr. Primitive? Dr. Primitive? Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, let's swap intel then. You first. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Exactly as we suspected. So, did you find anything at Dreamflux Reef? Uh, there ain't a thing here. But who cares? Seen this plenty of times, and there's only one solution. We've all rid this rodeo, so I reckon I don't need to spell it out. Um, yes. I totally agree. 
agree. Oh, sweet. All right then. Mm, help to me tear become this place a high-ranking member. <laughs> uh -oh, huh. Uh, uh, I was just trying to make a joke, but you took it even further. You're ruffling my bananas now. That wasn't a joke. If it were the IPC lackeys, I'd have them lined up right this instant for a one-way ticket to the other side. But they only planted kids in this place. I can't be using my ways on them. It's not the first time Dr. Primitives use others as scapegoats. I ain't gonna step on the same rate twice. But aren't you doing that right now? Falling for the trap? <laughs> Ever seen a squib load? When timed right, it's more effective than unloading a full clip. Now, I got no clue what kind of monkey business this club's up to. But I know from the static noise at Dream Flux Reef that they're sure as heck interested in Pinnacone. They'll definitely step in if we raise the roof off of this place. Unless you've got a better idea you can think of. Let's do it my way, Star Member. Uh, I do have an idea. Sort of. Uh, just hold your horses. But let's go back and meet Montana first. Remember, be nice. <laughs> Aw, why did it run off? Aw, I wanted to play with it, too. March, you're finally back! Yeah, uh, let's do this again. The right way. This is Boot Hill. You guys started off on the wrong foot. He is actually a really nice person. Oh, don't worry about me. I thought about it earlier. Pentagoni sees a ton of visitors and transiting travelers. It's only normal to meet people of all sorts of background here. Yeah, I was wanted on a few occasions too. Uh, maybe a dozen times? Uh, never mind, that's not important now. Let's talk about the Slumber Nana Association. There's an important seminar scheduled for today, right? Are we in time for that? Oh, March! You remembered wrong again! This is far grander than a seminar! I guess... you could call it a theophany? In just a bit, we'll get to see the actual Slumber Nano Monkey in the flesh! Holy bananas! There are rip-offs of this thing. <laughs> That's not it. Slumber Nana Monkey went viral overnight, but people have different opinions on how the fad began. No matter what people choose to believe, there has to be a Slumber Nana Monkey that started it all, and we're about to see it! The original Slumber Nana Monkey in all its unfiltered glory, free from all sorts of stereotypes. Uh, I'm not quite following, but it sounds impressive, I guess. We have a few other students from campus who attended a few theophanies before. What did they say about it? Nothing really, but they had this look, um, like they'd been to the world's end. Every single one of them looked like they were in a state of absolute bliss. I want to feel like that, too. Well, ain't that something? I reckon I gotta see it myself. Still got a bit to wait, huh? Uh, hey, hold up. Where are you heading off to again? Hey, you can see me, right? But now, but now, but now. <sighs> hey there, huh? 
hell? Banana, banana, banana? TV gotta be this complicated. Oh, you're back! This is the theophany that Montana told us about. The only way to see Slumber Nana Monkey is apparently through forming some kind of connection with the Assistant Nana. Thank you for waiting. Oh, another member hoping to see Slumber Nana Monkey? No, not her. Just me. Uh, trying to worm your way in again, huh? But you won't be able to establish a connection if you know nothing about Slumber Nana Monkey. You look unfamiliar. But you don't seem like a regular member either. <laughs> That's right. Been told I'm quite talented. Huh? What talent do you have? I'm Denisovan244, March 7th. Oh, it's you! Yes, I've heard about you. You have the potential to truly reach the source! Please, come over to me. Uh, not so fast. What are you up to this time? The dimmer of us two plays a bait. The other gets ready to fight. Keep watch outside. Hey, wait! Hey! Uh, hello? That was fast. Uh... Actually talented? The answer is simple, miss. This gentleman here... He wants to visit the past more than anyone else in the room. Hmm. What's the big fudging idea here? Is this all there is? We meet again, sir. <laughs> I've seen run-down saloons fancier than this place. You call this a theophany? Crafting an attractive but deceptive vision is a crude method. Entirely opposite to the values that the Slumber Nana Monkey aims to share with people. Many other members before you have come here seeking something. But these tend to be the usual. Truth, happiness, peace, and the like. Unfortunately, there are no answers here. Only one question. Will this make you worse off? What is this fudging nonsense? <laughs> Have patience. I will explain everything in detail. For example, if I asked you to give up malt juice, what would be your first thought? You want to get a drink before that, won't you? That should be the exact thought in your head right now. Huh? Don't pull that nonsense on me. A classic will always be a classic. Ah, hold on there, partner. Sometimes, you gotta try something new. Introspection is key, no matter the hour. 
<laughs> you see, these are the thoughts that come to your mind when you were given that question. Sadly, it appears that whichever option you choose, there will be some lingering regret. With that, let's go on to imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. If the dependence on the drink was never there to begin with, this problem would naturally not exist, and the resulting thoughts would also disappear. Here's a question. Will this make you worse off? <sighs> Holy bananas. What's gotten into me? He's right. I, I don't have the urge to drink at all. <sighs> Messing around in my head like that. No wonder the synesthesia beacon's all screwed up. <sighs> no. This busted thing can't do it alone. So who's the scoundrel behind all this? Moving on! Let's turn our attention toward issues that are a little more... Um, complicated? I see. That is one vast and endless wall of rage you have there. Since you know... Think before you speak. Don't go asking for trouble. You banana. Calm yourself. Slumber Nana Monkey wouldn't preach about forgiveness or burying the hatchet. Now that's something even I'd find annoying. Instead, it'd support you taking vengeance into your own hands. Just like this. Time to test our rapport. Let's improvise. The mood is set. Let the show begin! Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Wait in line for Let's Duel! Time to cleanse the filth! Dreams do come true. All of you stand still. <laughs> May the foul stench dissipate quick be of your body and mind. There's more to love. <laughs> Rhythm get messed. <laughs> the true everything in this world is bleeding. Bring it on. Time's up! Yeah! Some yeah. Huh. There's your reward! How do you feel? What a load of hogwash. You reckon taking aim at phony targets is gonna get your blood pumping? I understand. But venting your anger can help relieve the tension you built up. And when that happens, you'll be less averse to accepting unpalatable advice. Now, just like before, imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. For a person who has made revenge their sole purpose in life, what would happen if their hatred were to vanish? Will this make you worse off? <sighs> Rotten bananas. What wacky theory are you trying to prove? <clears throat> huh. Well, what the heck? I actually feel pretty good right now. I, yeah. Who banana fudging cares about revenge? Excellent. You're very perceptive. Let's move on to the next lesson, then. Galaxy Ranger. I know very well hatred isn't something that can be easily erased. 
This will be your toughest lesson. But I'll be with you throughout. Now then. Will this make you worse off, Mr. Ranger? sure what you're talking about, but you sure seem mighty fascinating. And nice to meet you, partner. What's your name? This isn't the first time we've met, but you can call me Prof. Nana Primon. Oh, a cultured soul, then. Oh, I'm just a research aide. And you, you'll soon be mentioned in my research report. Handling the commotion at the university is easy. The main concern has always been here, Dreamflux Reef. If it weren't for the need to eliminate you as a variable, I wouldn't have purposely slowed down. And with that, the class here has come to an end. Get a move on, dear student. I'll be waiting for you at the end to unveil a new chapter of your life. Erudition is but an affliction that the average person cannot bear. Using it will not make you any worse off. Forgetting these colors will not make you any worse off. Sound will only introduce frustration and anxiety. his path to happiness. Uh, stay where you are. Don't come any closer. Naturally. 
resorting to violence is not my intention. I'm only here to prove something, not to subjugate. Prove what? To prove that my viewpoint is in line with the desires of humans. Montana? March 7th? What are you trying to do? Gosh, Montana! Don't you see what's going on? The bad guy's the one behind you! How could you say that? And here, I thought you loved Slumber Nana Monkey from the bottom of your heart! You... Banna? Oh, Montana... Uh, I think... Let's get out of this place now! Hurry! As you wish. I look forward to you providing the last link in my proof. You're a sicko! This way! Why do you seem so out of it? Haven't you woken up yet? <laughs> Banana. Banana? What's your problem? Why are you blocking our way? You're free to leave if you wish, but not with my subject. He's still under observation. Your subject? Mm-hmm. Unlike typical humans, his modified body is impervious to physical deterioration. With a steely grit and determination that never wavers, he can easily resist all forms of corruption. Ah, a galaxy ranger like him. It'll be worthwhile to see what I can turn him into. Uh... Let me guess. You want to call for help right away because you're convinced these monkeys, formerly humans who have lost their minds, are under my command. If that's the case, why do you believe that you really woke up the ranger? Uh, that can't be right. Mr. Galaxy Ranger, would you please fire a shot at this young lady? Uh, hey! But, sir, killing folks is against the law, especially when it's a lovely lady like her. I'm the star of the show now, uh, all because of this here gun. Oh, it's a nice gun, all right, but using it to take a life. I have no such intention. How about the two of you settle your own scores while I'll be on my way? You? Wait a minute. Is this what you wanted me to see? That's right. This is merely a hollow dream. So even if they turned into monkeys here, their physical bodies in the real world will not be subjected to any biological deterioration. The ranger's extraordinarily staunch and unyielding mind made him an even more valuable specimen to be studied. His mind hasn't been completely wiped out. Instead, he is neither a monkey, nor is he a galaxy ranger. He's a young boot hill. One from many years back. Back when his homeland hadn't been ravaged, when he lived as a carefree child in the grasslands. A partial regression. How very interesting indeed. If memory serves, 
This version of him is at least ten years removed from the older Boot Hill, when he first fired a shot at a bandit. Miraculous. Be it the Sweet Dreams troop or myself, he can end it all with just one shot. But it just so happens that the decision to pull the trigger has to be made by his soul rather than his body. The child version of him now is completely incapable of firing his own gun. All right, Mr. Cowboy, come to me. Let's finish your final lesson now. A galaxy ranger that stands on the side of Dr. Primitive. A traitor born from nurture. This warrants several more research papers. Dreams. Uh, hey! Don't go over there! Be quiet, young lady. And mind your manners while class is in progress. Am I... dreaming? Yes, of course. This dream is based off your memories. What do you last remember? Were you herding or chopping firewood? Neither of those. I was eating some piping hot stew. Huh. Well, that's strange. How did I fall asleep? Well, there's a lot of things I should be doing. I, I guess Nick's gonna kick me awake soon. <laughs> you haven't brought up that name in quite a while. But I suppose that's only right, considering where you are on the timeline. For you at this point, everything the IPC does is still in a far-off future. <laughs> what a strange dream. Everything sounds like nonsense. It doesn't matter. It's time for you to come back to reality. How does it feel? Does waking up from a dream bring you misery? Misery? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <sighs> it's a shame you're stuck in a dream. Can't lay eyes on the land I love. It's so gorgeous. You'd be willing to die. Right there. It's hard to believe someone so young would use that kind of analogy. Ain't nothing strange about that. People gotta find ways to soothe their souls. Part of that's coming to terms with life and death. There's a saying from Aragon of Partial. Death is the fairest form of grace. For the good-hearted, death keeps their purity intact. For the cunning scoundrels, death ends things clean and quick. I see. Does that mean you're not afraid of death? If so, please extend your hand out for me. I suppose you're perfectly willing to apply the fairest form of grace to every corner of the universe? In the name of Dr. Primitive, that is. This is my final lesson for you. You shall thoroughly understand his philosophy. And with that, a star will pitifully fizzle out. No problem, teacher. But uh, there's something else I have to tell you. I was worried about missing my shot. But now that I've gotten a hold of you, I reckon I won't. What? <laughs> How is this possible? The regression should have occurred already. Whew. You want to know something? I was worried I had it all wrong just now. But now, there ain't no problem. Because only an evildoer asks why before he dies. I ain't deaf, alright? Well, you were yapping so loud. Did it ever cross your mind I could tell good from evil? Huh? It's as Nick said, revenge needs no excuses. Just like how there's one thing in the world that doesn't need to be taught. Taking a shot 
at bad guys. How did things take such a turn? You're just a child! Even for someone born with a bad nature, first time doing something like this should weigh heavily on their conscience! <sighs> Is that so? Well, I reckon you got that wrong. Be it a wanted criminal with the blood of many on their hands, or a young cowboy who's never fired a gun. Both share a common instinct in every sense of the word. And that's to put a bullet in anything evil, muddle butcher. I'm gonna put a cool. You think this is the fault of big and tall? <laughs> no, it's your fault. I Death is the fairest form of prey. It's the best of the motherfucking Rhythm get messed up. Let's improvise. May the foul stench disappear. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Time to cleanse the filth. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Don't worry, this one's on me. There's no reason those with the most gun, those who did the most brave. Some value eternal. Let's improvise. Don't worry, this one's on me. Bring it on. <laughs> Time's up. Take your positions. Huh. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. The truth. Everything in this world is bleeding. Let's do it. Yeah. There's more to life. Yeah. There's no reason with you bunch anymore. Those with the low gun, those who did the brave. Dreams do come true. All you stand still. Allow me to purchase him. Some of them. Stay in step. Let's improvise. Bring it on! <laughs> Time to cleanse the filth! <laughs> There's no for those with a low gun! Those who did the brave! That's another good thing about dying. Whatever your excuses and ideas are, I ain't gotta waste time listening to them. Oh! Uh... Am I late? Are you referring to what's finished or what's only just beginning? The one that's about to begin? Oh, oh, right. I should go get help. You need to get your head checked, like, right now. Get my head checked? What fork in hell are... Huh? My synesthesia beacon's back to normal. Damn it! <laughs> That's forking amazing! Hot diggity fudge! Uh huh? So, you're saying everything went back to normal once you smashed this thing to pieces? Ah, uh, I see. No wonder those assistant Anna's only want to teach students one on one. Yeah, I had a hunch. Sometimes it's just dead simple. Don't gotta be a genius. Follow me, Nameless. No need for reinforcements, seeing as how a few bullets will clear this up. Fork in hell. 
You think you can find a better shot than me and Pentaconi? That's right, fellow members. Everything that's about to happen next isn't the end for us. With Dreamflux Reef as our starting point, a beautiful world shall descend upon all, and he will eventually cast his gaze upon us and the grand cause that we've forged together. Grand? Grand in what way, muddle fudger? All right, folks, eyes on me. Now listen here. This whole thing's a muddle fudger scheme. Go. Scurry off and hide. Ain't no harm in being foolish. But no one to steer clear. You two again. I can forget everything else you've done. But slandering the name of Slumber Nana Monkey before Prof Nana Primon? Do you even know what you're doing? Montana, would you please just hear me out? Save it. You really think you can still convince him? Mr. Ranger, perhaps going back to our origins. Who asked you? I'm only gonna say this once. I ain't interested in hearing your philosophies or sob stories. You're a dastardly evildoer who will cease to exist once a bullet's put into you. <laughs> Guess what? I just so happen to be holding a gun right now. Since everything's turned out to be so simple, there's no need to use too much of my intellect. Catch my drift. See, I'm not here to teach a class, shirt brain. I've come to help. Class is over! <laughs> Where are you going? 